Hi and welcome to City Happenings. I'm Mayor David Black. Sump Library earns prestigious recognition from the State Library Association. The library director fills us in. And the artist currently showing in the City Hall Art Gallery tells us how and why she started painting, as well as her thoughts on the art gallery. And in our continued look at the area Parkinson's outreach group, the physical therapist involved with the group gives us an update. All of these stories are next in City Happenings for the week of February 4th. Thanks, Mayor Black. Sump Library earns the highest accreditation level from the Nebraska Library Commission. Sump's director explains. Accreditation is a way that the state, the Nebraska Library Commission, can put information out to communities to say, this is what makes a library that will be able to serve your community. If you meet these standards, then you're going to have a library that can do what you need. And that's where we start. It's important to note that this is a recognition that has teeth. This is verification that this library is doing what this community needs. And it's very detailed. It says things like we have to have a library board. I have to have certain credentials. Um, we have to offer free internet to everybody who walks in. And these things make us a good library. How do you know if it's a good library if you just walk in? Well, there's our plaque that says the state has said this library can do what the community needs. The gold accreditation is the second consecutive such recognition earned by Sump Library. One clarification is that the standards are slightly different depending on your community. So, um, a small town, um, Blair, for example, which is a very good library, has slightly different requirements than we have because our communities are different sizes. And they take that into account. And so you're measured against libraries that are like you, which is great because it's not fair to take a town of 1,000 mm -hmm. and say, oh, well, you can't do everything Papillion does. So, no, they're good for their community. When we talk about what the community needs, one of the requirements of accreditation is that you prepare a community needs assessment. The library has met those needs, judging by the community's response. There's always the metrics like increased circulation, uh, more checkouts, um, happy people wandering around. But you know, we got a lot of Christmas cookies, Christmas candy. <laughs> a lot of people just came in and said thanks. And that means a lot to us. While holiday treats are a nice thank you, there is a serious side to this. When somebody comes in with a problem and we're able to help them with that and they walk in all tense and they walk out relaxed, that's what we want to see. That's what keeps us going. We're very service oriented people. Even me sitting back here in my office working with numbers all the time. Those numbers represent people and they're they're here using us because we're giving them what they need. Mm -hmm. So that's why we do it. You'll hear more about the library's accreditation in the coming weeks. The Papillion artist currently featured in the City Hall Art Gallery learned of the gallery through two sources. I found out about it through uh, the Bellevue Artists Association and, and getting to know El Ray and uh, other members of our club. I came to see it, it had to do with uh, one of the members it had an exhibit up here. And I thought it was a beautiful little gallery. And I just, um, I was very impressed with it. The art gallery allows local artists to get their work out to the public. That's kind of a scary thing to do for somebody who's really um, very new to, um, <clears throat> they may have drawn for years or painted for years, but, uh, in the basement or in their little studio room office and then to take the big step to start sharing it with uh, other people and public strangers is really a big step to take. Mm -hmm. Confidence moved on to start publicly showing her art. With that confidence I thought well I need to get some feedback and uh, I was self-taught uh, essentially with the help of um, arttutor.com was a online subscription program that was excellent. There was also an area group that helped her a lot. Then I decided to join Bellevue Artists to get um, you know, local feedback 
and that gave me opportunities then to start exhibiting. For artists ready to move to the next step, whatever that may be, especially those new to art, Don has this advice. I would say to um, join a local club, either um, I think the ones, the two that I belong to are Bellevue Artists Association and then the Omaha Artist Inc. And one is very, it's quite small, Bellevue Artists has about 35 members right now. And in a way, the small <clears throat> membership gives you a chance to do a lot more interaction, I think, and, and um, the competition it exhibits. And we have two judged shows a year, as well as two um, non-judged shows, where people can sell their art. And um, so I think that is the best first step. Don points out that self-motivation is important. Especially if you're in a family that, <clears throat> let's say, isn't really art oriented and or they for some reason or other they are hesitant to comment about your artwork a la a husband or a wife mm -hmm. and I think <clears throat> so there has to be a lot of decision or desire on the part of the artist to just keep working the art and there's this uh, rule of thumb is you have to get 10,000 hours in on any craft or art or you know, any skill that you want to develop in order to become halfway decent at it. So there's just a lot of time that one has to put into it. The Area Parkinson's Outreach Group is truly a grassroots organization. It started out uh, really with one patient who really wanted to know more. He didn't even have Parkinson's, but he has essential tremors and wanted to know more about what that is and what is Parkinson's and what do I need to know. So he reached out to some resources with Parkinson's Nebraska and the APDA. Um, and from then, they started to initiate a group. That group is now almost 10 years old. And they had three or four people just sitting around at a table. And that was it. And it started out more like a traditional support group. They were just kind of talking amongst each other. Since then, we have grown um, the group exponentially and we typically get about 40 to 50 people participating um, people with Parkinson's and their spouses caregivers um, or healthcare professionals this much needed group with humble beginnings is now an official education and outreach group every month we meet and we bring in speakers on topics related to what the participants are interested in talking about. And it's anything related to Parkinson's or whatever they're dealing with in life. These are some of the topics. Lawyers talking about estate planning and trusts, uh, to nurses talking about symptom management, a, a whole variety, and it's just basically based off their needs, desires, and wants. Um, with a focus on Parkinson's, it was really open to anybody and any movement disorder. The Parkinson's Outreach Group meets the third Tuesday of every month at Nebraska Medicine Bellevue in the lower level classroom at 10 a.m. This is a free meeting and open to patients, family, and caregivers. Call 402-763-3736 for more information. Welcome to the first week of February. We're glad that you made it through the very cold stretch in that last week of January. And we appreciate you cooperating with our staff during this time who constantly work hard to keep Papillion safe. Despite it all being winter, there's still many things to do. There are lots of ways to stay up to date with what's happening in Papillion. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter and Instagram, or watch our YouTube channel. Information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org. Or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402 827-1111. Thanks for watching.